And finally, we come to the central asset of RQM test execution, the test case execution record. Here's the scenario. You have a log on test case. Over the lifetime of your tool, you are going to run this test case for multiple releases. This test case has two associated test scripts, one that's appropriate for testing from an ATM, one that's appropriate for testing from browsers. You have different environments that you test in, Windows and Linux, Chrome and Firefox. Every single run of this test case is a different set of releases, scripts, and environments that you want to keep track of for the lifetime of this test case. There is a unique test case execution record for each of those combinations. And if you look at the name of the test execution record, the very first one, it's for the logon test case. It's using the logon under browser script. It's being tested in the Windows world against Chrome and for release 2. RQM lets you automatically generate all of the appropriate test case execution records for each test case that you have written for each release that you have defined. When you go to execute a test case, you actually execute a test case execution record that gives you all of the details you need to run the test and record the results correctly for a very specific set of environments, releases, and scripts. Let's go take a look in RQM at how we generate these test case execution records for a whole set of test cases or for an individual test case. Here I am on the test plan in the test cases section, showing all the test cases I've currently included in this test plan. I've added another column of data, and if I hover over the heading, you see this is the number of test execution records associated with each test case. Now remember, these test cases can be included in multiple plans. Execution records associated with the test case are for this specific plan. Other plans can associate different test execution records. I've got two execution records, two test cases that do not yet have any execution records. I'm going to select those two and I'm going to start this little wizard that generates execution records for whatever test cases I have selected. Now notice that it's going to let me choose all of the different environments I said are important to test for this test plan. I can choose all of them or I can say this particular test case should have only a subset of those. Or if I want, I can go generate completely different set of test environments for this one specific test case that for whatever reason should have a different list of execution records and different set of environments that ought to be tested. So I'm going to go with all of my normal and I'm going to say yep I want to generate all of these test cases. Wait for the test plan to update and you can see now that I've created those six test execution records for both of these test cases in this plan.